believe she will be one of the first first ladies born outside the United States. She's of Slovenian heritage. He's joined there by his daughter, Ivanka Trump, and the rest of the Trump clan. Just wondering there if Melania's outfit is also a nod to Hillary Clinton. Her supporters said, wear white to the vote in reference to the suffragettes winning voting rights for women. Is this the theme to Air Force One? I'm trying to think, what, what, what is this music? Independence Day. Thank you. Thank you very much, everybody. Sorry to keep you waiting. Complicated business. Complicated. Thank you very much. I've just received a call from Secretary Clinton. She congratulated us, it's about us, on our victory. And I congratulated her and her family on a very, very hard fought campaign. I mean, she, she fought very hard. Hillary has worked very long and very hard over a long period of time, and we owe her a major debt of gratitude for her service to our country. I mean that very sincerely. Now it's time for America to bind the wounds of division. We have to get together. To all Republicans and Democrats and independents across this nation, I say it is time for us to come together as one united people. It's time. I pledge to every citizen of our land that I will be president for all Americans, and this is so important to me. For those who have chosen not to support me in the past, of which there were a few people, <laughs> I'm reaching out to you for your guidance and your help so that we can work together and unify our great country. As I've said from the beginning, ours was not a campaign, but rather an incredible and great movement made up of millions of hardworking men and women who love their country and want a better, brighter future for themselves and for their family. It's a movement comprised of Americans from all races, religions, backgrounds, and beliefs who want and expect our government to serve the people and serve the people it will. Working together, we will begin the urgent task of rebuilding our nation and renewing the American dream. I've spent my entire life in business looking at the untapped potential in projects and in people all over the world. That is now what I want to do for our country. <laughs> Tremendous potential. I've gotten to know our country so well. Tremendous potential. It's going to be a beautiful thing. Every single American will have the opportunity to realize his or her fullest potential. The forgotten men and women of our country 
will be forgotten no longer. We are going to fix our inner cities and rebuild our highways, bridges, tunnels, airports, schools, hospitals. We're going to rebuild our infrastructure, which will become, by the way, second to none. And we will put millions of our people to work as we rebuild it. We will also finally take care of our great veterans. We've been so loyal, and I've gotten to know so many over this 18-month journey. The time I've spent with them during this campaign has been among my greatest honors. Our veterans are incredible people. We will embark upon a project of national growth and renewal. I will harness the creative talents of our people, and we will call upon the best and brightest to leverage their tremendous talent for the benefit of all. It's going to happen. We have a great economic plan. We will double our growth and have the strongest economy anywhere in the world. At the same time, we will get along with all other nations willing to get along with us. We will be. We'll have great relationships. We expect to have great, great relationships. No dream is too big. No challenge is too great. Nothing we want for our future is beyond our reach. America will no longer settle for anything less than the best. We must reclaim our country's destiny and dream big and bold and daring. We have to do that. We're going to dream of things for our country and beautiful things and successful things once again. I want to tell the world community that while we will always put America's interests first, we will deal fairly with everyone, with everyone, all people and all other nations. We will seek common ground, not hostility, partnership, not conflict. And now, I'd like to take this moment to thank some of the people who really helped me with this what they are calling tonight very, very historic victory. First, I want to thank my parents, who I know are looking down on me right now. Great people. I've learned so much from them. They were wonderful in every regard. I had truly great parents. I also want to thank my sisters, Marianne and Elizabeth, who are here with us tonight. And where are they? They're here someplace. They're very shy, actually. And my brother, Robert, my great friend. Where is Robert? Where is Robert? My brother, Robert. And they should all be on this stage, but that's OK. They are great. And also, my late brother, Fred, great guy, fantastic guy. Fantastic family. I was very lucky. Great. Brothers, sisters, great, unbelievable parents. To Melania and Don. And Ivanka. And Eric. And Tiffany. And Baron. I love you and I thank you and especially for putting up with all of those hours. This was tough. This was tough. This political stuff is nasty, and it's tough. So I want to thank my family very much. Really fantastic. Thank you all. Thank you all. And Lara, unbelievable job. Unbelievable. Vanessa, thank you. Thank you very much. What a great group. You've all given me such incredible support, and I will tell you that we have a large group of people. You know, they kept saying we have a small staff. Not so small. Look at all the people that we have. Look at all of these people. And Kellyanne, and Chris, and Rudy, and Steve, and David. 
we have got we have got tremendously talented people up here and I want to tell you it's been it's been very very special I want to give a very special thanks to our former mayor Rudy Giuliani who's unbelievable unbelievable he traveled with us and he went through meetings and See that Rudy never changes. Where's Rudy? Where is he? Rudy. Governor Chris Christie, folks, was unbelievable. Thank you, Chris. The first man, first senator, first major, major politician, and let me tell you, he is highly respected in Washington because he's as smart as you get. Senator Jeff Sessions. Where's Jeff? Great man. Another great man. Very tough competitor. He was not easy. He was not easy. Who was that? Is that the mayor that showed up? <laughs> Is that Rudy? Oh, Rudy got up here. Another great man who has been uh, really a, a friend to me, but I'll tell you, I got to know him as a competitor because he was one of the folks that was negotiating to go against those Democrats. Dr. Ben Carson, where's Ben? Where is Ben? And by the way, Mike Huckabee is here someplace and he is fantastic. Mike and his family, Sarah, thank you very much. General Mike Flynn. Where is Mike? And General Kellogg. We have over 200 generals and admirals that have endorsed our campaign. And they're special people, and it's really an honor. We have 22 Congressional Medal of Honor recipients. We have just tremendous people. A very special person who believed me, and you know, I'd read reports that I wasn't getting along with him. I never had a bad second with him. He's an unbelievable star. He is, that's right, how did you possibly guess? So let me tell you about Reince. And I've said this. I said Reince, and I know it, I know it. Look at all those people over there. I know it. Reince is a superstar, but I said, they can't call you a superstar, Reince, unless we win. Because you can't be called a superstar like Secretariat. If Secretariat came in second, Secretariat would not have that big, beautiful bronze bus at the track at Belmont. But I'll tell you, Reince is really a star. And he is the hardest working guy. And in a certain way, I did this. Reince, come up here. Where is Reince? Get over here, Reince. Boy, oh boy, oh boy. It's about time you did this right. Huh? My God. Yeah, say a few words. Ah, oh, come on. Say something. Ladies and gentlemen, the next president of the United States, Donald Trump. Thank you. It's been an honor. God bless. Thank God. Donald Trump there pledging to be a president for all Americans. Our partnership with the RNC was so important to the success and what we've done. So I also have to say, I've gotten to know some incredible people, the Secret Service people. They're tough, and they're smart, and they're sharp, and I don't want to mess around with them, I can tell you. And when I want to go and wave to a big group of people and they rip me down and put me back down in the seat, but they are fantastic people, so I want to thank the Secret Service. And law enforcement in New York City, they're here tonight. These are spectacular people, sometimes underappreciated, unfortunately, but we appreciate them. We know what they go through. So, it's been what they call a historic event. But to be really historic, we have to do a great job. 
And I promise you that I will not let you down. We will do a great job. We will do a great job. I look very much forward to being your president. And hopefully at the end of two years or three years or four years, or maybe even eight years, you will say, so many of you worked so hard for us, but you will say that, you will say that that was something that you were very, really were very proud to do. And, and I can thank you very much. And I can only say that while the campaign is over, our work on this movement is now really just beginning. We're going to get to work immediately for the American people. And we're going to be doing a job that hopefully you will be so proud of your president. You'll be so proud. Again, it's my honor. It was an amazing evening. It's been an amazing two-year period. And I love this country. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you to Mike Pence. Thank you, everybody. So that was a surprisingly conciliatory speech from Donald Trump. He said that Hillary had called him up to concede her defeat and that Trump had won the White House. Now, Europe's far right has hailed Trump's victory, and Twitter is equal parts euphoria and outrage, with some touting Michelle Obama for president in 2020. He said he's going to get straight to work and working together to build a nation.